I don't think I've actually really thought about what it is I like about photography. As with climbing, where you kind of see a bit of rock and you have this impulse to climb it, I just have this daily impulse to just see things and I want to take a photo of it. How many goes do you think you had on it yesterday? 30, maybe. I've got extreme doms today. But Where? What, in your legs? In my hips, in my glutes, my hamstrings. That sounded like the majority of your legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the puppet show. Oh, I'm warm now. feel like you do anything different between every go, but yeah, no go is ever the same. Uh, I, I think after that go I feel good. Don't have a go. Not really. I got into photography through my granddad, who actually also got me into climbing. We would kind of go out at weekends with his cameras out in the dales, kind of climb and both take pictures as well. And he scared me half to death. I remember like getting halfway up and being like, but how do I get down? And he's like, you know, don't worry about that too at the top. And then I'd get to the top and cry and he'd have to come up and rescue me. <laughs> first got hooked completely on, on climbing and I was at uni and I was studying photography. We weren't actually required to be in uni very often and so I kind of just went climbing every day and completely thrashed it and quite quickly tore my meniscus. Um, well, I ended up tearing both meniscuses but having four operations to fix them and basically had close to three years where there wasn't a spell of more than two weeks where I climbed without any sort of injury. I think those sorts of injuries where I wasn't able to go climbing, but I could still go to the crag and like hang out with people and take pictures was kind of what kept me in touch with all my friends. Obviously it wasn't easy to kind of watch everyone climbing and not being able to do it yourself, but there was still that level of satisfaction from photographing it and still kind of feeling involved in some capacity. I think with photography, or especially with your like individual style of photography, I don't personally anyway tend to get bored because it's kind of always changing. Not only is photography kind of constantly changing and updating and there's new software and things like that, but just the imagery that you're interested in or catches your attention then as an influence and that's obviously constantly changing as well.
I think my granddad's still really interested in kind of what I'm up to, both climbing and photography. I mean, he was mainly a trad climber and mountaineer, so he's less kind of bothered about my bouldering. But if I ever have any magazine articles or like uh, covers or anything like that, he quite often ask for a copy himself. And yeah, really likes looking through those. I do think it's quite a hard thing to balance now between kind of my own climbing and the photography side of things. And even just days out of the crag on weekends or whatever, you know, you're kind of half doing both. You'll put your shoes on, but then you'll still have your camera in your hand and you don't want to get chalky, but then your skin's sweating from holding the camera and getting excited about the picture. You basically kind of end up not doing either very well or you pick one and, and kind of sack the other off. But doing both is quite difficult. It's lined up quite well that I'm not injured at the moment and I've not got much work on and everyone who I'd normally be photographing is either training for the Olympics or training for kind of their next thing. The temptation to take photos isn't there and I can focus on my own climbing a little bit more. I mean, it's hard when you're out climbing and the weather's good, there's still that nagging feeling that you kind of should be taking photos of things rather than doing things for yourself. But equally, it's quite nice to ignore that every once in a while. I tried it very briefly once last year. And I tried it two days ago. First moves are just a slippery bugger. Oh. That was good. Yeah, you're in. I'm in. I can imagine myself doing it. The sensation of hitting it and staying on. It's a good feeling. Oh no. Tune in next week, folks. <laughs> That's game over. Right, it doesn't actually hurt. No! Oh, good effort. Do you know the worst part is, right, about doing that? Is it sucked me in. I can't leave now. I was so ready to be done. Literally, I was like, right, I'm not going to say last go, just in case I get kind of close. But equally, I don't want to keep trying this today. <laughs> no, I've got to. Oh my god, I've got done another finger. Might actually be game over now. Yeah, <laughs> I think it right. I did another one. We'll take that one off and we'll just have another go. See if we can get a full house. I'm not going to be able to shower for three days with this. I'm going to wear a glove. Back again. So as soon as I know I can do something, it all goes out the window. Oh no! Really? Come on! Come on! Oh my God! How does it feel? 
Uh, it feels fine. Uh, Thanks. It's Look pretty. Techers. Yes, Sam. This boulder, man. I mean, I think I'm quite lucky in that I guess most people have a profession and then a hobby and the hobby is kind of what they do to make themselves feel good on the side of their profession, but kind of the both of those things don't really merge. I get almost the same feeling or the same out of taking a photo as I would doing a climb. That kind of euphoric feeling when you've got to the top of something you've tried for ages. Oh, that felt good. It's almost the exact same as if I've kind of thought out this photograph in my head and, you know, everything aligns and you get that picture that you've kind of been wanting for years. And that's kind of almost just as satisfying as getting to the top of a climb. I think people have asked me recently quite a lot whether I'd still consider myself a climber or whether I'd consider myself a photographer. I'm obviously a professional photographer, but I'd still say it's all completely revolving around climbing, and I'd definitely still say I was a climber. Yeah. 